Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Are you using or considering using UVC light to kill germs? In this video, I'll share what is UVC, how does UV light disinfect, consumer versus commercial UVC lights, blue light versus ultraviolet, UVC disinfectants and superbugs, UVC light risks, and should you buy or avoid UVC lights? First, what is UVC? UV stands for ultraviolet. White light is actually seven colors of light from violet to red. UV light, like all light, is electromagnetic radiation that travels in waves. Wavelength is the distance from peak to peak. What we call white or visible light has wavelengths from 400 to 700 nanometers. UV light wavelengths range from 100 to 400 nanometers. A nanometer is one billionth of a meter or one times 10 to the minus ninth. Most UV light is invisible to the human eye. The three major types are UVA, B, and C. UVC has the shortest wavelength, ranging between 100 to 280 nanometers. The sun is a natural source of UV light. The Earth's ozone layer blocks UVC and most UVB. Exposure to short wavelength ultraviolet radiation like UVC damages cell DNA and RNA. UV light kills germs by damaging its DNA or RNA. Damaging bacteria and virus DNA and RNA prevents replication. While UVA can kill germs, it requires long exposure times compared to UVC. When used properly, UVC light can kill germs, but like other disinfectants and antibiotics, it's not selective. UVC light kills good and bad bacteria and viruses. For good health, your body relies on trillions of good bacteria. UVC lights have been used for decades to kill germs in hospitals and other facilities. UVC radiation can disinfect air, water, and non-porous surfaces. Non-porous means UVC radiation can disinfect phones and remote controls, but not sponges and other porous surfaces. While most consumer UVC products claim to use technology similar to commercial UV lights, that doesn't mean they are safe or effective. Manufacturers lead consumers to believe they're buying the same technology used in industry. How well any UVC light disinfects depends on wavelength, intensity, distance, and duration. Some products claim 99.9% .9 disinfection rate in just seconds. One study published in the American Journal of Infection Control found it took 30 seconds of UVC exposure to reduce live coronavirus by 99.7%. That study used less harmful UVC radiation in the 207 to 222 nanometer wavelength range. Many consumer UVC lights use 250 nanometer and longer wavelengths. While longer wavelengths can kill germs faster, it can also damage your eyes and skin faster. As a result, many UVC lights produce visible blue or violet light to indicate it's on. Visible violet light is around 400 nanometers and blue light 450. Makers of UVC products market its powerful germ-killing abilities. Contrary to popular belief, 
Most bacteria and viruses are harmless, and many are essential. Your gut is home to billions of essential bacteria called probiotics. Healthy probiotics are found in fermented foods like yogurt. Taking antibiotics or using disinfectants kills good and bad bacteria. The same with viruses. UV lights and disinfectants do not distinguish between good and bad viruses. Antibiotics were considered miracle drugs. They saved millions of lives by preventing or curing bacterial infections. The overuse of antibiotics in people and animals has resulted in the evolution of antibiotic-resistant bacteria, or superbugs. Superbugs are harmful bacteria resistant to antibiotics and disinfectants. Superbugs on non-porous surfaces can be killed using UVC light, but it requires the right intensity, distance, wavelength, and duration. Most consumer UVC lights come with little or no warning about the risk of skin and eye damage. Short-term exposure to UVB is essential for producing vitamin D. Risks of UV light include skin burns, wrinkles, and cancers, cataracts, cornea damage, and macular degeneration. Depending on the UV index, it can take from minutes to hours for UVA and UVB to burn skin. UVC can cause skin and eye damage in seconds and is classified as a known carcinogen. Without the Earth's ozone layer filtering out UVC, there would be little or no life on the surface the Earth's surface would look more like Mars. Killing bacteria and viruses using disinfectants requires more than a quick spray and wipe. That's why it's recommended washing your hands with soap at least 20 seconds to kill most bacteria and viruses. Using UVC light to damage germ DNA or RNA can take seconds or minutes when used properly. Makers of UVC light products love emphasizing its powerful germ-killing effectiveness. Killing 99.9% .9 or 99.99% .99 of bacteria and viruses applies to controlled laboratory test conditions. This product claims it kills more than 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses in a 400 to 600 square foot room in only 30 minutes. And they have the lab test reports to prove it. The reports are for three types of bacteria and dust mites. Most people buy UVC lights to kill viruses. If you read the test conditions, the 99.99% .99 disinfection rate was achieved after 30-minute exposure at 8 centimeters. The product claims it will disinfect a large room in 30 minutes with most objects more than 8 centimeters from the light source. A 2020 study published in the American Journal of Infection Control found killing the SARS-CoV-2 virus took 9 minutes of UVC exposure at 292 millijoules per centimeter square, 3 centimeters above the surface. At this time, UL, formerly Underwriters Laboratory, does not certify any consumer UVC products due to safety concerns. Products with exposed UVC lights pose the highest risk. UVC light enclosures are safer, but may not be as effective as advertised. Also, beware of misleading and inaccurate information, regardless of product price. The product page for this UVC wand 
implies you can disinfect porous items like clothing, furniture, and towels. Disinfecting using UVC requires exposing all surfaces to the light for the specified amount of time at a specified distance. That's not the case in either photo. Shiny, non-porous surfaces like wood, plastic, and metal can reflect UV light causing skin and eye damage. This $400 UVC wand includes protective gloves and safety glasses. This product photo shows an unprotected hand holding a UVC wand to disinfect a porous face mask on a shiny surface. This can cause serious skin and eye damage. Any consumer UVC product with exposed lights can be dangerous if you don't take adequate precautions. Most UVC products are made in China and may include an EPA establishment number. The number means the company is registered with the EPA, not that the product was certified by the EPA. The EPA does not test or certify UVC products for safety or effectiveness. Avoid UVC air purifiers that produce ozone. Ozone may eliminate odors, but it can also irritate or damage your lungs. To protect yourself, your family, your pets, and plants, avoid products with exposed UVC lights. Some takeaways from this video are UVC light is a known human carcinogen. Consumer UVC lights are unregulated. The EPA establishment number is meaningless. UVC can damage human, animal, and plant DNA. Avoid exposed UVC lights unless you're wearing appropriate PPE and ignore claims UVC light kills 99.9% .9 of all germs in seconds or minutes. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching.